Yep. <laughs> Why don't I have cue cards? Hey everyone, it's Katie with some theater tech instruction videos. This is the first of many, and to start us off, I'm going to introduce my lovely friend Melissa. She's going to be helping us out. Also, these are theater tech videos, which are RE, not ER. If you're looking for a theater ER, please exit the premise and go to local 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 cinema. <laughs> cinema. <laughs> I can't talk. Play movies. I almost I almost got it. Do you think we should just keep this in? A good technician knows the stage better than anyone else. Whether it be getting actors on and off stage, uh, building a set, focusing spotlights, or even setting a microphone. What you see is the doppelganger at the very front of the stage. This is called the apron of the stage. Sometimes there is a pit with a convertible or retractable top on it that covers an orchestra pit. But at this theater, we don't have one. The frame piece around the stage is called the proscenium. There are some directions you will need to know while working on stage. All the directions are named um, as if you are the actor standing on stage looking out to the audience. Stage left is on the left hand side of the actor. Stage right is on the right hand side. Downstage is forward of the actor and upstage is behind the actor. And I think we're good. The reason they're called downstage and upstage is because before we had elevated seats where all the audience could see everything that's happening on a flat stage, it was the stage that was actually elevated in a certain angle. And the highest point would be in the back of the stage, or upstage. So when a director asks you to focus a spotlight upstage, you focus it here. If he asks you to focus it downstage, you put it here. Next are the curtains. The big red one that you normally see in television shows and movies is called the Grand Drape because it's the prettiest and the biggest and the most fancy. In other words, grand. Next are usually the legs. These are pieces of fabric that hang on either side of the stage that block the audience's view of the actors when they're standing there waiting for their cue lines. The other type of curtain you need to know for this very basic understanding of curtains is the travelers. Travelers are usually mid-stage or back, and they're the curtains that move back and forth. We also use borders. Borders are pieces of fabric along the top of the stage that hide electric bars. Then comes the backdrops. Backdrops are pieces of fabric, usually canvas, that are brought down that have painted scenery on them, just for different plays. We also have um, electrics, which are the first, second, third, sometimes fourth and fifth electrics. These are what hold up spotlights that shine lights onto the stage, and they usually help hold Fresnel lights. Fresnel Fresnel lights. lights. They usually focus straight down so that light goes onto the heads of the actors and onto the set. This is the costume shop. This is where all of the costumes, shoes, anything that you put on your body is stored for when it's not being used in a show. And some theaters have a props loft, like this one. This is the workshop. This is where set pieces and some props are built and painted. The staircase leads up to the catwalk where the overstage lights and some of the sound are, like the speakers. What we have here is the lights board. We're actually in the booth right now. And the booth is at the very back of the house, overlooking the stage. Just so we can know when to hit our light cues from these buttons here. These are called dimmers. We'll learn more about them in another video. This is the soundboard. It's outside of the actual booth building so that we can hear exactly what's going on on stage and adjust it accordingly. And this is where the audience or patrons sit. It's called the house. I don't want to die. Ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs>